suddenly this car comes past, swipes my car, and smacks my wing mirror off. I went flying. I was a bit but My heart is so full. Oh, what is this, Ayla? It's a menu. Mother's Day menu. Ooh, someone's gonna make me food. Okay, so the food menu, we got Cornish chicken sandwich, ooh, fruit, peanut butter sandwich, drinks menu, we have water, cordial. No, no this is, no, you missed it. It says aqua water. Aqua water, oh yes, cordial. Mommy. And then also Mommy. orange juice. I'll have <laughs> peanut butter sandwich and some aqua water, please. Actually making it. Thank you, baby. Oh, look at that. Oh, it does have peanut butter inside it. Mm. I don't know if it's all the footage I'm seeing from the Taylor Swift concerts, but I am going through a Taylor Swift phase and oh, it's just perking up my day. Good morning, guys. So um, usually when they're having their breakfast, I work on processing your art print orders. Um, so it's a lovely balance where um, I'll bring them to school and then I will go to the post office, drop off their orders. Um, yeah, I just wanna thank you guys for your wedding advice. Um, so yeah, our date is booked for August 2025 and we went for the castle. The walls, is it a castle? I need to look up on the history of the venue. But um, I was telling you guys, I know 17 months seems like a long time away, but a lot of vendors are being taken, guys. Um, it's mad, especially if your wedding is in summer. I was asking you guys like, what do you think? At first, I planned to be like a budget bride where I wanted to save money and DIY, DIY as much as I possibly can. And then, you know, the more I thought about it, the more I'm like, you know what, if I'm doing a wedding again, I really just want to enjoy my day with my loved ones. I really don't want to worry about having to set things up and yada, yada, yada. So yeah, a lot of you guys recommended just to go with a venue stylist. I know they can cost a bit, but I did shop around. I think I find one of the more decent price ones. <laughs> you guys said pick your splurge, although it does feel like every area you have to splurge, regardless anyway. So I have my little spreadsheet here. Yeah, we've got the photography, we've got the venue, we've got the celebrant, the DJ, I've got my hair sorted. I'm also this year getting my makeup done. I did my makeup for my first wedding, but I think it'll be really nice just to enjoy and let someone do it and you know I'm very comfortable doing my own makeup but you know I kind of do the same look so it'll be nice to see what someone else can do. Most of the makeup artists here are ca Caucasian. I'm a bit anxious about my hooded Asian features being worked on but um, I'm sure it'll be okay. We'll do the trial and go from there. Um, I got my Spenu stylist booked and um, my flowers are going to be sorted off by the same people so that's the main thing booked in terms of like what choices I want to make with the style and the colors. Um, I don't have to decide till later, but the most important thing is to get these people, like the dates, booked up. So yeah, no idea what type of dress I want, but I know I want something comfortable because my first wedding, I had um, this bigger dress and it was heavy and it was lovely, but I just want to be comfortable. So it's just interesting when I sort of like think back and... I'm having eggs. This time around, we're not going for a videographer. This time around, I do feel like it's gonna be a much more like relaxed day. Yeah, I'm gonna go on and process some of my orders. Oh yeah, so yesterday actually, I was parked up waiting for my kids to finish school. I had like a good 20 minutes. So I was just on my phone and suddenly, this car comes past, swipes my car and smacks my wing mirror off. I went flying and yeah, the person just kept driving. I was kind of in shock in the moment, so I just immediately took a photo with my phone because I was holding my phone anyway, but really, maybe I should have beat or followed that car. Thankfully, uh, it was near school pickup time, so there was a lot of witnesses around. One guy in particular, 
he was in a van and he followed the the car that hit me. He came back and he took a piece of paper, uh, just in case I never got the registration plate and the car, he wrote it down for me, which restored my faith in humanity. Um, I was surprised the car never stopped because he knew it hit me. It was a big bang. Yeah, the witness actually told me he actually saw the man get out of his car to check the body of his car. So, um, yeah, since then I've just called the police, let them know what happened. Yeah, the police just basically said to me, um, they tried to call the man, no one's picked up, tried to call the next of kin, no one's picked up. So they're going to try to call in to the house today. Although it's, they can't force the man to pay for the damage. Um, but like for me, it's not even the thing. I mean, it's a principle, like I'm safe. Um, I've got my health. Um, for me, it's just, it was a school zone and he should not have been flying down the road like that. He hit my car and he still moved on. It's an offense. If you're a hazard to citizens around, it's even more reason to take seriously. But yeah, we'll see how today goes and, and what happens actually. But either way, um, I have to take my car to the garage because you know, I'm driving myself and two kids and it's important that I have a mirror. Like, the, like you, we need our mirrors. <laughs> Packing the prints has calmed down a lot where every day I'm really just processing like several orders. So it's given me like a lot of time to start painting again. I worked on two uh, paintings to get printed already. One of them is a watercolor um, heart wreath, sort of a recreation of a watercolor painting I did a little while back. And then another one is I promise you guys that I will finish it but basically one of my first digital paintings is of a forest and um, when I first did it I really really loved it and then I went on to do other paintings and realized when I looked back on it how unfinished it actually was that I felt like I didn't deserve to be released because it was so unfinished so I managed to find like a quick print of it so this is the original and I don't know if you guys can see but the trees look very smooth. Um, the lighting is weird and the flowers just <laughs> perspective wise is wrong. It just looks like it's floating on top. Obviously I went back to work on it to add more detail, detail, detail. And yeah, I just immersed the trees with more nature, um, more true to photograph where there was a lot of moss and vines growing from it. Made the top a lot bushier because the original was quite bare. And yeah, just worked on the lighting and the shadows, added more grass onto the dirt path and yeah, chose to have um, bluebells and daisies as the wild flowers. So I've gone ahead and ordered prints for, I'm not sure what to name it guys. Basically it's a tunnel of trees um, into a place called the Balino Stone Circle. People usually visit to see the stone circle, but for me the most magical part is the tunnel of trees leading into it. Yeah, like I said, I'm mostly just going to focus on um, drawing new paintings and making new prints of that, unless there is a like a very popular print. The Knowledge is Beauty one, I've gone ahead and ordered some more prints because that print in particular is selling a lot faster than my other ones. Just basically letting you guys know I most likely won't be reprinting um, a lot of the prints, um, unless they're really, really popular, as I said. <sighs> I know Diet Coke is so bad for you, but I need it <laughs> after this week. Um, so yeah, a little update. The policeman got back to me, basically, so I'm making dinner. So yeah, the policeman got back to me and um, he was telling me that it took the man almost half an hour to get the door. The old man thinks he did it and um, yeah, he's happy to pay the damages. So the only thing was the police said, <laughs> You might struggle to get hold of him just because of his hearing and they're not allowed to give me the address so they gave me his daughter's number. So yes, I I just called her and you know explained the situation and what happened and just had a little talk and just said just for your daddy's best interest and the safety of other people. We'll definitely have a meeting with the family if it's safe for you know your daddy to be in the road, especially with the area. Um, that he lives in being so close to school. Um, so yeah, she's agreed to pay the cost, thankfully. Yeah, so I said, I'm sorry that happened. And she was saying she's sorry that happened. Things just happen. Yeah!